guess what circuit we're at? It's Spa Francochamps. How did you get it? We're in the Alpha 4C and uh, road cars at my favorite circuit. It's going to be a good one. Let's jump in. Okay, so here we go. Heading down the start finish straight to uh, La Source. We've exited that final turn in third gear and we're going to hit the brakes here, just about the 100 meter board and put the car down into second gear. It's going to do some weird things with the physics and as you turn in and ease off the brakes, the rear of the car is going to rotate around and get you right to the apex of this corner and then you're going to exit it in third to carry as much speed. So you can see the rear end has rotated around, we're into third and we're already on the throttle. Running out to this exit, you can go a little bit wider, but watch out for that green strip on the outside. It's got no traction and will ruin you for the next sort of half a lap or so. Eau Rouge, take your brave pills, cut on the left, cut on the right, and careful cutting this. You can take the curb, but just don't put all four wheels over it. Really just got to take a lot of brave pills through there, to be quite frank. And now we've got this nice long run to the next braking zone and again we're going to use that weird sort of effect of the car rotating just as we roll off the brakes put it down to second uh is it second gear i can't remember if it's second gear i think it might be third watch what happens I, I can't remember it's too late i break pretty late here uh just before the 100 meter board you can break a bit earlier and just play around with the braking don't touch those bollards on the inside a little bit of third, a little bit of lifting, and then for this next corner, put it up to fourth gear, and again, watch the, the bollards on the inside, because they will invalidate your lap and really, really piss you off. Ask me how I know. Breaking for, for this turn, just before this rumble strip, and you want to dive straight for the inside, and again, put it down to third gear, and feel for the car rotating on the way in. You can see I've got quite a lot of angle here, and it helps you to sort of almost drift around the corner a little bit, Use a little bit of throttle on and off through mid corner there, it gains you quite a bit of speed. Uh, Breaking and turning for this corner I find quite difficult, but again, put it to fourth gear for better traction on exit and a, a good run down the hill. I haven't nailed this one, so bear with me, there's time in there, I know there is. Um, yeah, as you can see, kind of missed the apex, but again, don't want to run too wide on exit, don't want to run over onto the bollards on the apex, otherwise you'll invalidate the lap. And here we go, best corner on the circuit maybe uh 50 meter board round about here you want to break again you can use the rotation of the car to help you get around this one but it's about picking your point of uh, applying the throttle again because there's a long run to the next turn and the car will just about hold full throttle all the way around here i think that i maybe could have had more through there as you see i, I had some room to play with so again time in there as well Breaking for this one is between 150, so maybe 75 meters, something like that. And again, you can use that rotation. Just watch the bollards on the apex because they'll invalidate the lap. Uh, same as loads of other places on the circuit. Really frustrating. And again, you can use that rotation and keep it in third between these two corners and use the off throttle rotation to get you around, but then put it back, back up to fourth gear. And then this corner is kind of a weird one. I still haven't got this nailed uh, again. So as you can see, there's lots of little places where I could improve. And I'm so close to getting into those 39s, it's really frustrating me. Um, put it down to third gear and get on the throttle as early as you can. Now this turn I love, uh, but it's fourth gear and it's just have such a slight lift. Don't hit that bollard seriously, because you will really be upset. And then just keep yourself pinned all the way down here and you've got really got some excitement coming up uh, in my opinion because getting this next left hand or right is difficult there is a slight lift but then you need to get back on the throttle i mean you're going so quick through there it's crazy breaking for the chicane there's a lovely white line across the road that's my braking marker that's what i'm aiming for down to second gear again use that uh, rotating effect as you roll off the brakes to get you turned into the apex and then a little blip in second between the corners and put it to third coming into this final bend for best traction coming off the corner and then run it to the line hope you enjoyed that one hope that it's helped you out in some sort of way if it has hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button 
all the cheesy bullshit and I'm just going to say that I really love this combo. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit weird if you've had a, like an off-track excursion. It feels like these tyres hold on to that dirt and rubber for quite some time and that you'll just notice your bleeding time and the car won't turn in, it won't brake and it won't accelerate the way it normally does. It's really frustrating and it lasts way too long uh, in my opinion. Um, but yeah and it's it's frustrating when it's quite a long lap to have it ruined especially if you do it towards the end of the lap but yeah i just really enjoyed it and i hope that you did too and uh i'll see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>